If Jennifer Lawrence wants the world to see her topless, it'll be on her terms. Posing shirtless for fashion photographer Patrick DeMarchelier, the 24-year-old actress covers Vanity Fair's November issue. In the profile, Lawrence breaks her silence about having dozens of nude pictures stolen and distributed online. I was just so afraid, she says. I didn't know how this would affect my career. The actress, who has always been guarded about her private life, was shocked when the photo leaked. Just because I'm a public figure, just because I'm an actress, does not mean that I asked for this. It does not mean that it comes with the territory. It's my body, and it should be my choice, and the fact that it is not my choice is absolutely disgusting. I can't believe that we even live in that kind of world, she opines. Lawrence was tempted to write a statement in August, but reconsidered. Every single thing that I tried to write made me cry or get angry. I started to write an apology, but I don't have anything to say I'm sorry for. I was in a loving, healthy, great relationship, with Nicholas Holt, for four years, she recalls. It was long distance, and either your boyfriend is going to look at porn or he's going to look at you. It is not a scandal. It is a sex crime. Jennifer Lawrence has broken her silence over her stolen nude photos that were leaked online this summer, telling Vanity Fair in an interview excerpt published Tuesday the hack was not a scandal. It is a sex crime. In the November cover story, Lawrence recalled trying to address the leak, which affected more than 100 celebrities, but every single thing that I tried to write made me cry or get angry. I started to write an apology but I don't have anything to say I'm sorry for. I was in a loving, healthy, great relationship for four years. It was long distance, and either your boyfriend is going to look at porn or he's going to look at you. Lawrence also strongly condemned those who perpetuated the violation against her privacy. Anybody who looked at those pictures, you're perpetuating a sexual offense, she said. You should cower with shame. Even people who I know and love say, oh, yeah, I looked at the pictures. I don't want to get mad, but at the same time I'm thinking, I didn't tell you that you could look at my naked body. But even as the actress told the emotional story of telling her father what happened, I don't care how much money I get for the Hunger Games, I promise you, anybody given the choice of that kind of money or having to make a phone call to tell your dad that something like that has happened, it's not worth it she maintained her signature humor. Fortunately. He was playing golf, so he was in a good mood. The 3,000-word piece will be available in Vanity Fair's digital edition on October 9, then on newsstands nation.